In this video, I will explain what a snapshot is and why it is needed. And I will explain what attached to tangle means and why you need to attach addresses to the tangle. A snapshot is a method to reduce the size of the tangle database by removing all transactions from the tangle, leaving only a record of addresses with corresponding balances. Addresses with zero balance are also removed from this record. A snapshot is simply a list of every address with corresponding non-zero balance. This list can be found in the IOTA reference implementation. The snapshot can be found in the IOTA reference implementation under this path. And this is a snapshot file. If you click on this link, view raw, you will see the addresses with their corresponding balances. You can clearly see there are no zero balances. These addresses with balances act like a genesis address. Once the snapshot is successfully performed, it is possible you may need to claim your tokens. Claiming means that you need to transfer your tokens from the old Tangle database before the snapshot into the new Tangle database after the snapshot. If you forget to claim your tokens, you will never be able to get access to your tokens again. Here's an example of a previous snapshot announcement and claim instructions. For example, here is a snapshot announcement. And here's an example how to claim your tokens. The claiming process is only needed when there are major design changes in the IOTA protocol. And please note that IOTA is still in the development phase. So claiming your tokens after a snapshot may still occur. The IOTA Foundation announces when snapshots are made. It is your duty to be kept informed. See the following links for IOTA announcements. On the Hello IOTA forum, you can find IOTA announcements. And on the IOTA Tango Slack page, under the announcement channel, you can find IOTA announcements. Right now, the IOTA community agrees that snapshots are to be conducted by the IOTA Foundation. But in the future, there will be local auto snapshotting capability for each node. An IOTA wallet is a deterministic wallet, meaning when a new address is generated, it is calculated from the combination of the seed and address index, where the address index can be any positive integer. The wallet starts from address index 0 and asks the node it is connected to for a list of transactions that incorporate that address. If there are no transactions found referencing that address, the wallet concludes that it has not used the address yet. The wallet will not increase the address index and shows the total balance of all the addresses found. If there are transactions found referencing that address, the wallet will increase the address index, which in turn creates a new address. The wallet again searches the tangle for transactions referencing that new address. The wallet will skip any address index where it sees that the corresponding address has already been attached to the tangle. When you attach an address to the tangle, it creates a zero value transaction referencing that address, choosing and validating two transactions from the tangle, and then does the proof of work. In the wallet, an attached address is shown in the history tab as a transfer of zero fonts. This is my simple IOTA wallet. I have created this wallet for educational purpose only. You can use this wallet on the testnet, but do not use it on the mainnet. Otherwise, you will lose all your IOTAs. I will make a separate video explaining how this wallet works. Let's create two wallets, wallet A and wallet B. Wallet A has this seed and wallet B has this seed. So let's copy this seed from wallet A. Paste it in here. Make sure you're on a testnet with HTTPS because my site is also on HTTPS. Select generate address. I'm entering five because I want to see the first five addresses. Press the generate address button. And these are my five addresses. 
I will do the same for what B. And these are my five addresses. If you look at wallet B, this is the address index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This address belongs to address index 0. This address belongs to address index 1, etc. If I copy this seed and paste this seed, I want to see the first five addresses again. I'm entering 5 over here, pressing the button Generate Addresses. Copy these addresses. You can clearly see these addresses are the same because this is a deterministic wallet because this particular seed always generates the same addresses belonging to the same address index. Let's remove these addresses. Let's copy this address. This is my IOTA wallet. Paste the seed and log in. As you can see, I'm on the testnet. The balance is zero. And you can see this is the address. But I am not going to attach this address to the tangle. I'm now logging in. With another seed, I'm still on the testnet. I'm going to send three IOTAs to this address and one IOTA to this address. So let's copy this address first. Three IOTAs, send it now. Let's copy this address. Let's send one IOTA to the other address. Press send it now. All right, the transfer is now completed. The first transaction is now completed. The second transaction is pending, but we will continue. I will log out. So I have now transferred three IOTAs to this address, one IOTA to the second address. And please note, I have not attached any of these addresses to the tangle. Normally, this is not possible using the IOTA wallet. But please do not do this what I'm now doing. What I'm now demonstrating is for educational purpose only. Never do what I'm now doing. I am trying to prove a point. You should not create addresses and send IOTAs to these addresses without attaching these addresses to the tangle. As you can see, wallet B shows a balance of zero, but I expect a balance of four IOTAs. How is this possible? Well, the IOTA wallet works as follows. First, it starts with index zero to get the corresponding address. Next, it sends this address to the node. this node and ask if this address is used. The node checks the tangle and does not find a transaction with this address, which means this address is not attached to the tangle. The node tells the wallet the address is not found on the tangle. The wallet will not continue with the next address index, this address index. And that is why we see a balance of a zero. Now let's attach the first address this address and see what the balance will be. Press the receive. This is 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Let's attach this address to the tangle and let's see what happens with the balance. Address is attached. Here you see balance is three. So what has happened? Again, the wallet first starts with index zero to get the corresponding address. Next, it sends this address to the node and asks if this address is used. The node checks the tangle, but now it finds a transaction with this address. 
When you attach an address to the tangle, it creates a zero value transaction with this address. The node tells the wallet the address is found on the tangle and sends the balance of this address, which is zero. The wallet will continue with the next address index, which is one. When the steps are repeated, it will, it will send back this balance. So total is three, but the wallet will stop at address index two because this address is not attached to the tangle. If I now attach this address to the tangle, so if I press generate new address, it will skip this one because this address is already attached to the tangle. The balance is now four. What will happen if I send two IOTAs from wallet B to wallet A? Let's try it. I'm sending to this address. Please note, I have not attached any of these addresses to the tangle. I'm sending two IOTAs. Transfer is completed. The balance is now two. Right, the transaction is now confirmed. So two IOTAs is sent to this address, that is correct. Minus three is this one, is from this address. So this address is now zero. Let's copy this seed, paste this seed, and select Show Account Data, and then press the button Show Account Data. I'm still on a testnet. This is what happens. So address index 1 is now 0. We have transferred two IOTAs. The one IOTA left, it is automatically transferred to this address. It is not necessary to attach an address. IOTAs can be successfully sent to a non-attached address. However, it is recommended that you always attach an address before using it. By attaching an address to the tangle, you inform the wallet that it should not reuse that address. Reusing an address, especially for outgoing transactions, can have huge security implications. In IOTA, the security of a transaction decreases when you send tokens more than once from the same address. This is because IOTA uses the Winternet's one-time signatures, which degrades security exponentially after each address reuse for outgoing transactions. Once you have sent a transaction with a specific address as input, you should never use it again because a part of the private key of that specific address is revealed. The more outgoing transaction you make from the same address, the easier it will be for attackers to steal that address's balance by brute force the private key. Attackers use a Tangle Explorer to see if addresses are reused and try to steal funds from these reused addresses. You can reuse an address for receiving as long as you have not used it for any outgoing transaction. An additional security issue is after a snapshot. When the wallet forgets all of its history, people reuses addresses again. To avoid this, create a new wallet and transfer all your funds from the old wallet to the first address of this new wallet before the snapshot. This step ensures that all addresses in this new wallet, except the first one, have never been used before. I will now explain what will happen after a snapshot. Let's assume this is your initial wallet situation. You have a balance of 30 IOTAs. This is your seed, and these are your addresses, and these are the balances for each address. Some addresses have a balance of zero. 
The question is, what will happen with your addresses on the tangle after a snapshot? All addresses with a balance of zero will be deleted. This one, this one, and this one, as you can see over here. So the next question is, what is your wallet balance after the snapshot? So the answer is, your balance is 12 IOTAs. Not 30 IOTAs, but 12 IOTAs. Your wallet will start with address index 0 and gets this balance, 10. Next, it takes the following address index and gets this balance, 2. So total 12. But at address index 2, it will stop because the address cannot be found on the tangle. And if it cannot find the address on the tangle, it will not continue searching the tangle. And that is why you will see that your balance is 12 IOTAs. The next question is, what should you do to get your correct wallet balance? The answer is, you need to attach these addresses to the tangle. This address, this address, and this address. And when you attach this address to the tangle, then the correct balance is shown. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.